Welcome or welcome back, new viewers and game bears. It is time for another episode of Paper Mario. And today, we're going to get to, ah, excuse me, continue going through flower fields and solving more of the people's problems. So, let's go this path now that we have that bubble uh, machine. So, let us begin. Alright, I'll give the uh, bubble berry to this one. Hi, my name is Bubble Plant. You want to know why my name is Bubble Plant? I'll tell you, if you give me a bubble, uh, a bubble berry, here you go. Oh, awesome. Good going. Okay, get a load of this. Um, okay, dude. <laughs> that did not sound right at all. There, isn't it great? Bubbles. I don't get to control it. That makes me sad. All right, this guy. Oh my God, he's chasing me. Oof. Uh oh, new enemy. All right, Gumbario, do the tattling. This is the green magic Koopa. He's one of the magicians in the Koopa clan. I have to admit, I like those green robes. Very cool. Good taste. My man's color, favorite color is green confirmed. Max HP 11, attack power 3, defense power 0. He can magically increase the defense power of others. <laughs> he looks pretty surly. I'm gonna attack the one I didn't already weaken. I raise their defense. I mean, if it only raises his defense by one, he's dead next turn. I don't think Magic Koopas can run away if they're not on their rooms, right? Or am I... I don't know. I don't, I'm not entirely sure, if I'll be honest. Yeah, they can still run away. All right. That doesn't matter because we leveling up. Did a little uh, grinding off screen, and I wanted to save that for this. So either we could give HP... And I get rid of that flower, that flower, the HP badge, so I have some more space for badges. We can increase our badge points. Perhaps we should give 30, maybe? I mean, I did increase heart points last time, so I'm not going to do that this time. I don't know if I want FP or BP. Hmm. This is such a tough decision, I'll be honest. I mean, I did get that mega quick badge off screen, which I wanted to, I'd like to show that off. So I don't think it's going to be too useful for the rest of this. FP for now. Alright, there's a star piece up here I'd like to get. Gimme! I don't know, Lakitu's. Oh, there's another badge in there. That's looking pretty good. Alright, and guess how we get it. Bombs, you want them? They're yours, my friend, as long as you have enough rubies. Also, cool guys, don't look at explosions. Put your bomb memes in the comments below. Anyways, you got the Mega Smash Badge. Hammers an enemy with a huge amount of attack power. Which, that is going to be a ginormous upgrade right over here. And it can take up three batch points. I won't need power smash now if that's if we're going to use that. I kinda wanna keep group focus and double dipping. That's very good. Alright, zap tap. Until the boss of this chapter, I'm gonna keep zap tap. Alright, power quake I probably should keep as well. Or should I give it a spin smash? Let's give it a double dip. Spin smash in exchange for mega smash. So it's a good thing I raised RFP. Could probably showcase this off too. Well, I guess not against these guys.
Another little thing over here, let's blow it up. Bombs! Because, well, in order to get through there, as you can see, we need to, uh, well, blow that up. Get out of the way so we can go up the stairs. Hey, hello. I never thought anybody would come all the way up here. I'm the sun. No, that's not entirely true. I should say I was the sun. The clouds that uh, come out of the Puff Puff machine that Huff and Puff built, those clouds keep me from climbing to the sky. I am a complete failure as a sun. All of those flowers and plants of flower fears are suffering. Here it is. Here is it. Oh wait, where is it? You mean the Puff Puff machine? I think it's east from here. The clouds seem to come from over there anyway. Why do you want to know? Do you know? Do you think you can break the Puff Puff machine? Nah, there's no way. Don't strain yourself. You might as well go home. Also, if that's the sun, shouldn't we be dead right now? Like, we should all be screwed. <laughs> Anyways. Just, uh... Keep it going. This is fiction. Things don't have to make sense, right? Hey, 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 hold up! Wait, man! Hey, man! I don't think we've been met, have we? I mean, you're Mario, right? My name is Locke Lester, uh, no, my name is Michael. Yeah, you totally look like a Michael. <laughs> no, uh, oh yeah, Spike. Yeah, yeah, I'm Spike. Well, whatever, never mind. Look, I don't have a problem with you personally, but I've got orders from up and Puff. Sorry, man, but I but I have to give you a bit of a beatdown. Like I said, man, sorry. Don't, did I sound cool? <sighs> yeah, totally cool. Here it comes, man. All right, we got ourselves a new enemy. Do the tattling. He says his name is Spike. He seems to be a lack of two, but it's the weirdest one I've seen. Max HP 50, attack power 4, defense power 0. He throws spine eggs. Is it just me, or did he call himself Spike, Michael, and Lockalester? What not guy? I have to wonder just what his real name is. His real name's Lockalester. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a weird joke that he doesn't like his name Lockalester, so he's like, alright, Spike's cooler. Anyways, let's cut his HP by quite a bit. Oh! Oh, well, that did some decent damage. Alright, I can't use my hammer attacks against him, so I pretty much have to keep power jumping. Uh, why don't we charge with you, Gumbario? I could... Can I shrink stomp him? I don't really know. I'm gonna charge again, then we're gonna multi block. I think I can just take him out from that range next turn if I do that. Right, let's try to save a little bit of our FP. And Goombario, time to show them your real power and why multi bunk and charge is so broken. At least personally, I think so. Yeah, he's dead. And people say Goombario's mid. Uh, man, it's tough as nails. I give up, man. Go on, do your worst. I'm not afraid of it. Did you just say we could kill him? <laughs> no. Do whatever you do <laughs> to guys you've defeated. Fire flower in my eye? In the eye? Oh my god. You have sunglasses on. A pal block? How the hell am I gonna hit you with a pal block? Wait! Oh no, like Lulu. No, please. Please have mercy on my poor sweet Locky Lester. Ah, uh, don't call me Locky Lester. It's Spike, remember? I told you I changed my name last month. Come on now. Can you legally change your name in the Mario world? Questions for another day. Man, I mean, gee whiz, you're always embarrassing me like this. Although, for some reason, it makes me like you even more. I mean, wait, no! Did I just say that out loud? Forget I said that. If it's true, dude, that's what you think. I don't see what the problem with that is. A anyway, I lost a challenge man to man, so we have to settle this. I have to face the music. Now, Mario, please forgive him. 
My luck, Lister, was just following Huffinpuff's orders. You know, it'd be funny if I said don't forgive and I'd try to kill him anyways. I'm not gonna forgive. He's really sweet. Please don't take my sweetie away from me. Oh! Why, well, please forgive him. I like those who just following up those orders. What would happen if I said don't forgive again? Oh, she's just gonna do that over and over again? Yep. <laughs> oh, I guess I have no choice. The game's not telling, not saying, uh, not letting me say no. Really? Oh, for real? Literally, the game wouldn't let me. You'll forgive him. Oh, thank you. Stop calling me Lock Lester. It's such a stupid name. My name is Spike. Spike! Don't you ever listen to me? <sighs> I'm beginning to think that this whole deal is stupid. I was working for Hufflepuff to be part of something big, but all I've been doing is picking pointless fights. This isn't what I wanted in life. What I wanted was... Hey, man. I've got a question. What in the world are you doing all this fighting for? <laughs> Look, I could... I could be predictable and go for the Mega Man X frame of what am I fighting for? I wish that was an option here, but... And I can answer his question with another question. Why Spike? How about that? Why? Because Spike is a million times cooler. Lucky Lister is the dumbest name ever. It just doesn't fit the image of a dangerous oval like me. You're <clears throat> really dangerous. Okay. The name doesn't matter, man. What matters is this. I've decided I'm going with you. <laughs> You're the real deal. Traveling around with you has got to be as cool as it gets. Oh no, Lucky Lester, you can't leave me. Please take me with you. Oh, Lucky Lulu, cheer out. Oh, uh, chill out, excuse me. You gotta understand. I'm doing this for you, don't you see? I'm going. I gotta be a man. Wait for me. I'll return a much more manly uh, lack it to. Oh, okay. I'll wait for you, Lucky Lester. But you'll be so sorry if you don't come back to me in one piece. I swear, if you make me worry, I'll take a spine and shove it up your ass. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> I just had to finish her sentence. You know she wanted to say that. I guess I'd better make sure I'm tougher than uh, than you by the time I come back, huh? Uh, see me off with a smile now. You're so much cuter when you show me those pearly whites. Bye for now. Lucky Lester joined your party and is the final team member of the game. Press down to ride Lucky Lester over spikes and lava. While in battle, he get attacked by throwing a spiny egg with his spiny flip ability. Or attack all enemies by throwing many spiny eggs at once with spiny surge. As you can see here, we can, which that looks uncomfortable. How am I riding with him like that? Anyways, oh my luck and Lester, come back to, to come back to me soon. I'll be waiting with a smile. Uh, come on, call me Spike. Yeah, how are they riding in the same cloud? There's no way that cloud is big enough for the both of them. And it just looks that just looks off. But hey, I can at least get around a little faster. I think I no, I can't jump with that. Ah my Goddamn bees. Yeah, this is a good time to showcase off Lucky like, Tears abilities. Alright. And move that into the circle, that's how you do this action command. Bye bye. I can show that he can ride on spikes, but not in this room. I'm gonna go back to Totem for a split sec so we can heal after that battle, since there's no heart blocks here. And y'all remember the super block that we saw up at one of the other rooms? Well, that's where we're gonna go after now that we got this partner here, and our last partner that we'll ever have for the rest of the game. room was that super block in again? It wasn't this one. I believe it was down here, actually. 
Yep, here it is. Let's get Gumbario out in the party. And we gotta go through all those crazy daisies. Oh boy, I'd have to bring a um, paracarry for these, actually. I hope that Amazing Daisy isn't there. I really hope it's not. Okay, good. Ah. Right, thankfully, it's only one, so they're easy to take out. Yeah, just gotta go through this whole horde of uh, crazy daisies before we can get to really where we get to go. I mean, I think the challenge of this is that you're supposed to dodge the crazy daisies to get to the super block, but it's such a small corridor that's kind of. Hard to see exactly where Mario is walking if they saw the flowers there. But I mean, I'm not fully complaining. Extra experience is extra experience, right? It might be a little tedious, yes, but we can get through this, uh, we, it'll be fine. And after this, we won't even have to come back up here anyways. Alright, last crazy days in a battle. Uh-oh. That's a horde. Yeah, that's way too many sleep chances. Run, Goombario, run! Save yourself! Whew, almost failed that. Alright, get me out of here. Super block mine. Now let's give it to our newest partner. Do you want to upgrade this member? Black Luster is upgraded to Super Rank. Actually, I think it would be a good time to showcase his new ranking now. With this Spiny Surge, which will attack all enemies. Only two damage is kind of pitiful, not gonna lie. Alright, just because I don't really have a better way to damage all these guys, and frankly, I don't want to deal with uh, getting constantly put to sleep, we're gonna call upon the Scholar of the Stars. Come forth, Scholar, and now I gotta go back to the Toad House and heal again. Ah, I don't need that. Actually, let me drink the one honey syrup that I have, and then we'll... Uh, pick that back up. But he also has a new ability now that he's super rank as well. Called Cloud Nine. Just like Watt's power charge or Sushi's water block, this one will raise Mario's evasion, which allows him to be less likely to get hit by attacks. I think it's a 50% chance for him to get hit by attack rather than it being straight up guaranteed. Alright, we don't need to be here. Alright, let's get Car Paracarry back out here. And we won't have to come into this room anymore. Well, unless we want to fight that Amaza Daisy again. Or Amazy Daisy, I don't know. Sometimes I say Amaza Daisy, sometimes I say Amazy Daisy. Doesn't really matter either way how you pronounce it. And this is the room that we needed Lucky Lister for. And now for Ground Pound, we can move these upward. And that's kind of the gimmick of this room. I'm trying to time this jump, okay.
Trying to ride over spikes. Like I was trying to showcase it before. Alright, I think I might have to reset the room. I might have done something wrong. Maybe I'm not supposed to be over here yet, that could be why. Let's go someplace else. Ow. Come on, man. Well, I'm supposed to deal with the puzzle fog machine that they were talking that the sun was talking about before, so I'm gonna keep trying to figure that out instead. All right, give us a focus. Just wanted to see if there's anything cool back here. Alright, this is how we're supposed to do that. back down. Pound the green one. I'm figuring this out. I think we're good now. Yep, we're very good. See, I'm a smart bear. I can figure things out. It takes a bit. Oh, and there's another super block up there. Look at that. I mean, you guys can't tell, but I'm really trying very hard. Oh, oh look at that. Good thing I got a uh, Gumbario out. I think this is the one that will electrify enemies. Alright, I think normal jump will have to do for now. Gavario, do the honors. This is the yellow magic Koopa. He's one of the magicians in the Koopa clan. Yellow is the new black, didn't you know? Max HP 11, attack power 3, defense power 0. He can use magic to give his companions an electric charge. While his cohorts are electrified, don't attack them directly, or you'll be in for a shocking surprise. Not if I have Zap Tap. All 
Alright, attack this. A rough puff. I only have to deal with one more hit. That's actually okay, just get rid of their damage output. It's always the best case scenario for enemy formations like this. And he's just gonna run away. Yeah, little coward, get back here! Why don't we eat one of these super mushrooms that I have? Just so we can go into the upcoming battle at a decent amount of HP. Let's go, come on! We need more clouds, I want to see this land covered! We'll make them fear the power of my puff puff machine! Quit it, leave me alone man! Can't you see I'm busy working right now? That's up and puffs the man with a plan, all right. I mean, I love clouds. I love them. Um, I love them. And so covering the world in clouds seems pretty cool to me. How about you? You like clouds? Eh? You're that wanted man, Mario. You guys, it's Mario. We gotta get him before he breaks the puff puff machine. Bro, what if I was just here to offer you a round of a uh, chess or something? God damn it. All right. Uh. Does chess even exist in the Mario world? I don't know. I can get rid of at least one of these dudes right here, so bye bye to you. Uh oh, Spiny. Why would you electrify. whatever. Don't think that was the smartest decision. Alright, I'm gonna keep dwindling their. Uh... Actually, I wouldn't even need to use. FP for this. Let's just get the extra commands right, and that will be another one. Just best to keep dwindling their damage output. Once the magic is alone, I'm gonna attack it. You know what else I could do, actually? You know what? I'm gonna leave the Lakitu alone for now. Get rid of the spinies right here. And then Gumbaro can take out Magic Koopa next turn. And I still really like this mid-boss theme. Very, very cool. I'd argue like it is more dangerous, we're gonna get rid of him. And a D down pound to finish off the day. Ah, oh, retreat, boys! He beat us, but good! <laughs> Look at those chumps run away! Alright now, Mario. We better do something about this puff puff machine, huh? You all right, good sir? I'm gonna break it! Beat it, smash it to bits! Yeah! Now, speaking of which, speaking of Mario's hammer, while we're breaking this thing, one thing I'm just not realizing is it kind of looks like Amy Rose's hammer from the Sonic series. Probably based on one of those Japanese hammers. I think that might be why that looks like that. And right, there we go. I gotta beat it from the other side as well. Yeah, we're right in the right next to it exploding. I think we should be taking cover. And just instantly the clouds go away. There should be some other animation with the clouds, you know, parting away or something, but nope. Just instantly everything's clear. Anyways. Wow! The clouds are gone. It's time for a little sunshine. And again, we should all be dead. Oh, precious sunlight. 
Ho 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 ho! Mario did it! He saved Flower Fields! Ah uh, yes, the sun... Yeah, yippee! The sun's back! Oops! <laughs> Losing control like that is someone like me. Uh, the bright rays of the sun. Once again, I can gaze at the sparkles of light on the water. Oh, it's about time. The sun, Farfields, is saved. And of course, the sunlight can only add to my beauty. It's the sun! It's the sun! Oh, that heat feels so good! And yeah, maybe being stuck in one place isn't so bad after all. I feel full of life again. Helping folks feels good. Or helping folks feels good. I could get used to this man. Mario, what are you doing next? I'll follow you anywhere. Follow me anywhere, he says. But anyways, uh, that's out of the way. It looks like it's almost time for us to deal with the next adversary. But first, I want to get that super block we saw before. Now, if I remember correctly, I don't really remember how you're supposed to get behind here. I will handle this, uh, rough puff. No, we won't. Run away. Alright, and that's how we get in here. And we get the super block. Uh, Cooper's still the only one we have yet to unlock or upgrade. Alright, he master. I think we'll upgrade like a lister further. After that, we're gonna start with like maybe Bo, then Vomit, all that. Anyways, he'll master Hurricane to blow all enemies out of the battlefield, which is very similar to Bo's Spook Out. It'll uh, make weaker enemies go away out of battle. They won't be able to battle anymore, but in exchange, you don't get a star point. So, if there's an enemy that's you're having a lot of trouble with that you don't like dealing with, you could certainly just well blow them away. Just be warned, you won't get any star points for it. That's the drawback, and I think that's a pretty decent uh, payoff or trade-off for doing something like that, for just straight-up skipping battles, or at least skipping fighting certain foes. You don't have to battle them, but in exchange, no star points for you. I like that. Oh, it's got to be some sort of balance with stuff like that. Now, let's see. And right over here, we need to plant the things that we have gotten from the flower fields over time. Oh, thank you, Mario. You did a tremendous job! You cleared off those cl uh, those clouds so the sun could rise once more. It's so nice seeing my dear flower fields full of lights again after such a long time. There's nothing like sunlight. Oh, yes, of course. You should plant that magical bean, don't you think? It should grow well to now. I'd say the best place for you to plant it would be over there, where you can see the soil. Now, there's one little problem with this. You have to plant these in a very specific order. If you try to put the bean first, this will happen. Oh, now! What are you doing? Haven't you ever grown a plant? When you pl when your plant's accepting, the order is seed, or uh, soil, then bean, and water! But you just said there was soil here. Like, for first-time players, that would certainly confuse them, because there's already soil there, like you just said. Why would I have to put even more soil on a place that already has soil on it? But yeah, put the soil first, then the bean, and then the water. Is that an ice cream? <laughs> that cloud looks like ice cream. And you got a cherry and the lollipop there. I never noticed that. Ho, ho, ho! Success! Look at that sprout. Now you can go up to Cloudy Climb. Best of luck, son. Hmm. My spot seems to be getting less and less sunny. How disappointing. All right, I'm gonna save once more. Let's clam the beanstalk. And apparently it's like a 
mini elevator. Elevator beanstalks? That's actually a pretty neat idea. Now, every time you want to come up here, you'd have to see this animation over and over again. Alright, those clouds are extremely creative. I like that. Alright, but... Right up here, if we were to go any further, lies the boss fight, or the major boss fight of this chapter, and sixth boss in the entire game. Now, there's a badge over here, which, if you get on this cloud, you'd be able to get. I'm just gonna wait for it to come down. It's a little slow, but it's worth it for the badge that's up here, I'd say. You got the Super Jump Charge Badge. When supercharged, Mario's ju uh, jump power goes up by three, just like the version of that with the hammer. All right. So, beyond there will be the next boss fight of this chapter, but I'm going to go back down for a second. For now, we are going to end off the episode, but before we fight the sixth boss of this game, I'm going to go back to Toad Town Sewers. Because there's a certain item there that I want to get. That's going to definitely help us out with this upcoming battle. And I think we'll have Goombaria on the front as usual. Anyways, or you know what? Yeah, let's go to Toad Town for a split second just so I can go to sleep. So then when the next episode comes, I'm at full HP. I could always just save that for off screen, but nah. For an extra minute or two, just for the content, right? So I guess while we're at it, uh, yeah, our question of the day should be, have you ever grown a plant yourself? And if so, what type of plant did you try to grow? Let us know in the comments. That'll be our question of the day. Let me see one more thing if those badges changed. Let's save, let's take that elevator back up, and that'll be it for today. Yeah, I just get to see this wonderful spectacle once again. And I can't skip it, so every time I want to come back up here, I gotta do that over and over again. Now it's worth it to see those ice cream clouds and life up clouds, donuts, and cherries, and I think that's an apple there. I think that's a nice touch. Make a safe state, because if I go any further, we fight the next boss. Anyways, if you all enjoyed this edition of the Paper Mario playthrough and you want to see more, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and follow. Hit with a busy soon screen off on YouTube, that bell button for more. In the next episode, we're going to go get a nice little upgrade before we take on the boss, and then the boss themselves. And so goes today, have you ever planted a plant before, and if so, what was, what was the type of plant? And what did you like and dislike about this video? We could use that feedback for future videos. Anyways, thank you everybody for watching, and have a terrific day.